Hey everybody, Michael Snyder here, California Weather Watch. Today is April 30th, and right now we are looking at the visible satellite imagery, and you can clearly see our next weather maker, this big trough here. It's starting to elongate, and this thing is going to come and drop down right off the coast of California here to hang out for a few days, bringing some precipitation, cooler weather, and a chance for some thunderstorms and even some mountain snows here, some blustery conditions across the region as well. We'll take a look at that in some detail coming up here in a moment. And I like looking at this, it goes 18 satellite imagery, kind of showing Lake Tulare out there clear as day it's reformation and I've actually heard that it could last for some time you know it might even last over a year or so here so I, I'm not an expert on this by any means but it is reformed and we've got a long way to go because there's a lot of snow to melt across the higher terrain so I know we're going to be adding to it here over the next couple of months Anyway, taking a look at the maximum temperatures today, you can see the cool down it's still warm across some of the desert areas, but not near as hot as it was yesterday as that marine layer is a little bit more persistent across some of the region today as well. As you can see, some of these highs on Monday only getting up in towards the upper 60s. This is much cooler Monday, Tuesday, National Weather Service Hanford. Check out some of the valley areas there. By the time you get towards Tuesday, highs only into the upper 60s there as well. This is looking at wind forecast, nothing too crazy, just some minor impacts there. This is central Northern California, National Weather their service Sacramento graphic here. You can say San Francisco, maybe some gusts are just over 30 miles per hour there. This is mainly Sunday through Sunday night. Here we go. This is a 24-hour temperature change by the time you get towards Monday afternoon. You can see the entire state of California well below what you were 24 hours prior. So 20, 25 degrees, not out of the question for a lot of areas. Now, this is looking at surface base cape. This is the NAM 3KM hot off the presses there. You can see as we go on in through <clears throat> excuse me, Sunday afternoon, you see some destabilization as this trough tries to move down across the area. We could start some thunderstorm activity across some of the higher terrain here as we go through the day Monday, mainly moving northward. But then we kind of drop this chilly low pressure system off the coastline there and we're going to destabilize across some areas maybe some of the coastal areas in central california as we go on through tuesday afternoon there as well this is the, looking at what the doppler radar may look like during that time frame so we'll scroll on in through you can see some shower activity maybe some thunderstorms across some of northern nevada they're moving up towards idaho and oregon here as you go through sunday afternoon into very early monday morning and then you'll see a repeat here as you go through monday you could get some thunderstorm development maybe even across some of the east slopes of the sierra nevada here across nevada up towards Oregon, but then you'll see that low pressure system. You can see the spin in the atmosphere as it moves down across the Bay Area, and you'll see some of these showers start to pop up here. You could get a thunderstorm or two with this activity on in through Tuesday afternoon. Here we're looking at six hour precipitation. This is basically the NAM 3 cam, the same thing here. You could get some mountain snows here, some thunderstorm activity, and again, you can see the spin of that low pressure system here right off the coastline, keeping things nice, chilly, and showery here across much of the state of California. This is looking at apparent temperature. I just want to kind of run through this and you can see the diurnal heating and the nocturnal cooling here across the state of California. You know, we're going to be cooling down with that trough just offshore here and just kind of like to go through this and kind of give you a nice visual representation here of that daytime heating and the nighttime cooling across the area. And you can see where the desert southeast here across the portions of California warms up quite nicely here, even though we're dealing with that upper level trough. Now looking at 500 mil bars, this is up towards 18,000 feet. There's Hawaii, there's Washington, California. You can see this trough that is going to be impacting the state of California. Look at this thing, just set up shop right across central California. Hangs out for a while. This is Thursday afternoon. The trough's still there. Finally starts to eject up to the north and east. Then another trough's going to try to take its <laughs> spot here as we go on into the 10-day forecast on yesterday afternoon's European run. Maybe another trough setting up over California as we go on into early May here. So yeah, we'll, have, we'll watch out for that one and see how that trends as this trough setting up over the West Coast here could finally actually start to spawn some severe weather out West, if you believe yesterday afternoon's European run. This is looking at six-hour precipitation type in the European, and we'll see that trough drop down. Again, the spin in the atmosphere here, similar to that NAM 3 cam I just showed you, and you can see some of the mountain snows maybe going on here. The chillier temperature is coming for much of the state, and you'll see that low kind of finally eventually kick off to the northeast, and then that next trough try to drop down and continue some precipitation all the way on in through early May, if you believe yesterday afternoon's European run. This is a 10-day totals here, precipitation across the state of California here on the European yesterday afternoon's run.
nothing too crazy out there, but any kind of precipitation could exacerbate some of the ongoing flooding with that snow melt going on. And another thing, this trough is going to slow down some of that snow melt here too. And the only thing about that, it sounds like a good thing, but eventually it's going to have to be melted at some point. And the longer we hold it up there, the closer we get to a potential substantial heat wave again here across a lot of California. So that's the only problem with delaying the melt. Uh, it's really kind of a no-win situation at this point. This is actually looking at 10-day snowfall potential here in some areas, getting up over a foot of snow across the Sierra Nevada here through the 10-day period with a couple of troughs setting down across the region here. And you can see some of the Northern California as well, maybe just light amounts across some of the higher terrain of Southern California also. This is looking at Las Vegas. You can see the cool down coming as we go through the week with the troughs settling over the area here. Look at some of these temperatures only getting into the 70s compared to being up towards 100 degrees as we were recently across across some of Nevada. This is Palm Springs. You can see the big cool down coming here too as we go through the week. Nice comfortable temperatures out there. Get your light jackets out. Sacramento International Airport, the cool down coming here as well. Temperatures only up towards 70 degrees for several days as we go through the week towards next weekend. This is looking at the European. I just want to kind of show you the winds coming here. Nothing too crazy, but you'll see this trough in the upper level low kind of move down across the coastline, the spin in the atmosphere here, and some breezy conditions at times, some gusty winds across mainly the higher terrain out across the deserts, coastal areas, and maybe some of the higher terrain of Southern California here as well as we scroll on through this week. This is looking at snow water content here, and you can still see we are in record territory through the Southern uh, Sierra Nevada here, and we're going to slow down this melt here with that trough being around but then the next one as well but you can see the inevitable melt will come and that's what's going to cause some of the i mean the flooding's already ongoing now but we're going to continue on this probably for the next month or two here across much of the state this is six to ten day temperature probability outlook through may 9th here you can clearly see california being bullseyed and the six to ten day precipitation probability outlook there this is something looking off into the summer look at july august september 2023 this was issued april 20th and i may not have shown anybody on the channel here and you can see much of the west here in the above average signal here during summertime so something to watch here over the next couple of months for sure but anyway yeah here comes that trough it's going to hang out here for a few days and we might even get a reinforcement of that trough as we go on into the extended forecast as well. We'll watch that one closely day by day here. So yeah, anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying the channel here. Click like, subscribe, and I will talk to you guys again tomorrow.